tell that you'd be able to see because you're in the front row. You what? I have the You do? Okay, well, we're going to read. Today we were supposed to read about butterflies, but so many people love butterflies that all the butterfly books were checked out at the library. Isn't that a good thing? We like people to check out books and read. Okay, well today, so since we're not doing butterflies, we're going to talk about bugs. And, <laughs> yes, I know. We all have bugs somewhere. So our first book, hey, look who's here, hi. <clears throat> our first book is called The Honey Bee. Is a honey bee a bug? Yes. How do you know if something's a bug? Does anybody know what makes something a bug? Is a spider a bug? Yeah. Thatcher? Yeah. You can look at its legs. You can. And, 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 and what? What about an ants? Ants bugs. Bugs have six legs, and not four legs, and not eight legs. So you know it's a bug. They have eight legs. What? They have eight legs. Yeah. They, spiders do. Bugs have six legs. That's right. Caterpillars have a lot of legs, don't they? They're not bugs. How much? How much? How much? Centipedes aren't bugs. No, centipedes aren't. Okay, let's read. Yes, butterflies have six legs. Okay, let's read about the honeybee and the robber. Who do you think the robber is going to be in this book? The bear. And what do you think he will rob from a honeybee? Honey. Oh, I bet you're he right. Loves, Let's see. The honeybee and the robber, a moving picture book. Oh, boy, it's a moving picture book. And it's going to say, in a hive inside an old hollow tree, there lived a honeybee. And with, her, and with her lived many other bees. One warm morning, she flew out of the bee and said, out of the tree and said, let's gather nectar to make honey. Follow me. And flowers opened their petals and welcomed the honeybee. So here goes the honeybee flying away. See his wings flying? And then the flower loves to have the bees come. It probably tickles, don't you think, to have a honeybee walking on top of you? Well, and think about his little wings going bzzz. It probably tickles. So the flowers like that because they need the bees to pollinate them. They need the bees. The bees go inside the flower in this middle part where there's some kind of dusty stuff called pollen. I can let you look at the book when we're done. Is that okay? And, and they get the pollen on their back furry legs, and, that's, and then they take it to the next flower, and they share the pollen with all the flowers, and that's how bees help flowers. The honeybee flew from flower to flower gathering nectar, and a hungry bird swooped down to catch her, but the honeybee was too quick for him, so luckily the bee didn't get caught. Look, oh my gosh, he almost did, but he didn't get caught. This is a book you can check out at the library if you don't have it. Then the honeybee flew to a pond for a drink of water. Did you know honeybees got thirsty? Yeah. He flew to the pond for a drink of water, and a hungry fish and a hungry frog both tried to catch her. Oh, my gosh. Everybody's trying to eat the honeybee. I don't know if he's going to make it back to the hive with all of his pollen. Yeah. Oh boy, look at that. A butterfly flew by. Let's play, said the butterfly. The bees and the butterfly danced in the sky for a while, and then it's time to go home and get back to work. Honeybees are busy, they work a lot. Some of them are even called worker bees because they do lots and lots of work. With the nectar, she flew back into the busy hive. Where did you find all this nectar? asked the bees inside. Watch me and I'll show you, said the honeybee. And guess how the honeybee told the others where she found her honey. Oh, here we go. She did a dance. Did you know honeybees dance? Honeybees do special dances. And the other bees watch their legs and their backside. They wiggle their tails. And they know where to go to find the next bunch of flowers. Yeah, they wiggle their stinger. That's your. 
Chicken dance. That's right, they don't do the chicken dance. Then she crawled past the queen bee. <coughs> they what? Yes. They no, they don't make corn. They make honey. She crawled past the queen bee and stopped to watch a baby bee as it hatched from its cell. Bees have those pretty little cells that are shaped like stop signs, and baby bees come out of those shells. Okay, and let's see what happened next. Oh no, remember what this is called? It's called the thief or the robber. And look who's here. It was a bear. He was trying to get in and steal the honey. Grrr, he growled. Can you grr? Grrr. He growled as he scratched the tree. Scratch on your leg. Scratch, 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 scratch. He's scratching on that tree. Out flew a little bee, and guess what he did? He stung him in the nose. And guess what the, guess what the bear did? Let's see. Oh, look at his eyes. Uh-oh, he didn't like that. <laughs> oh, did I not pull that? Sorry. The bear is scratching on that tree, and he wants to get into their bee hole. Oh, no, they don't want him to come in there. And so... Yeah. So the bees came out, and look what they did. They're all going to sting that nasty bear, and he doesn't like it. He says, get away, bees. I won't steal your honey. I'll go away. He's running away. He's running away. That's right. And here's the bee tree, all safe and sound and quiet for nighttime. All the bees are put away for the night. So those are bees. But I have another book about another kind of bug. Yeah, bees do. Um, you had a good thing to say. He said, bees never get stung. Is that what you said? And you know what? Bees do sting each other once in a while when they're having a big argument about who gets to be the queen. Sometimes they sting each other, but not very often. They usually work together very nicely. Okay, now this one's called the bug book. What kind of bug is this? A ladybug. A ladybug. So let's see what this says. Bugs are insects. These pretty bugs are called ladybugs. Beetles are bugs too. Like all insects, they have how many legs? How many legs do bugs have? Three? Six. Six, okay. Bugs have six legs. Can you do that? Six legs. That's how many legs bugs have. And these busy ants live in a nest in a log. Do you like it when ants come out in, at your picnic? <laughs> Can you see him? He's busy. <laughs> the green insect is a katydid, and the other two are grasshoppers. Do you know what grasshoppers are? Of course. And does it, uh, yep. And how about katydids? See those? They have big green wings on the back, and they rub them together this way. And when they rub them, they make noise, and it sounds like, Katie did, Katie did, Katie did. <laughs> Can you rub your wings together and back like that? Katie did, Katie did, Katie did. <laughs> That's what a Katie did is called. OK. Oh, what's this bug? A firefly. It's a dragonfly. They like to fly by water. They're so pretty. Oh, and this one has big legs. A big praying mantis. And we know what that is. We just read a book about that. Honeybees, you're right. Oh, and look at this. You guys were asking about caterpillars. Are caterpillars bugs? We saw some of them in our backyard in the rocks. Yeah. We found uh, yep, and you asked me if caterpillars are bugs, and they're right in the bug book, but they're not bugs yet. When they turn into butterflies, then they're bugs, because then they have six legs. <laughs> and look how many, oh my goodness. There are lots and lots of butterflies here. Yeah, are there? And some things that look kind of like butterflies are called moths, yeah. And here's the here's a fun one, the fireflies. Yeah, we yes. Yeah. Those come out around my birthday 
Do they? Okay, so let's read a book about fireflies and let's see what it tells us. This is about a little boy who wanted to keep some fireflies. On a summer evening, I looked up from dinner and through the open window into the backyard. So he's sitting there having dinner and he looked out the window. It was growing dark and my tree house was a black shape in a tree. I wouldn't go up there now, it would be scary. But something flickered up there for just a moment. I looked, it flickered again over near the trees. Fireflies! Here's his first firefly. I forked that meat and corn and potatoes into my mouth. Please, Mommy, please, Mommy, may I go outside? The fireflies are out. Mommy smiled and Daddy nodded. Go ahead, they said. So I ran down the table to look for a clear jar. What's he looking for a jar for? I thought he wanted to go outside. He wants to catch the fireflies. The jars were dusty and I polished one clean with my shirt and I ran back up two steps at a time. Holes, I remembered. So he poked holes in the top of his jar with a scissor. Oh boy, you would want to have your mom or dad help you do that. Why does he put holes in the jar? So the fireflies can get in. That's, well, so they can breathe, right? So the air can get into them. The screen door banged behind me as I ran from the house and someone said, don't slam it. <laughs> but I wasn't listening. I called to my friends in the street, fireflies. Oh boy, he's going to have lots of help catching them. Look at all the fireflies they found. Do you think they'll catch any? They're kind of hard to catch, aren't they? Yep. Suddenly a voice called out above the others, I caught one! And it was my own voice. I caught one. Uh-oh, look, someone scribbled in this book. Well, that's not a good thing, is it? I thrust my hand into the jar and spread it open and the jar glowed in the moonlight. I held it in my hands and I felt a tremble of joy. I shouted, I can catch hundreds! So he has a firefly, and the firefly lit that jar all the way up. Did you know that a long time ago, before we had electricity, moms and dads went out and caught fireflies so they could read at nighttime. They kept them inside. Then we dashed about waving our hands, catching flies, and thrusting them into our jars. What do you think the fireflies are thinking about all this? What? Now we have electricity, so we can turn lights on. But a long time ago, before they had light switches and lights, they used fireflies. That's right. Then someone called from my house, time to come in now. What does he think of that? <laughs> my friends all took their jars of fireflies, and everybody went home. See all the children with their fireflies? I climbed up the stairs to my room. I set the jar on the table. Mama kissed me and turned out the light. I caught hundreds, I said. Daddy called from the hallway. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile, I called back. I caught hundreds of fireflies. In the dark, I watched the fireflies from my bed. They blinked off and on. The jar glowed in the moonlight, but it was not the same. The fireflies beat their wings against the glass. And then they fell down to the bottom of the jar. And then they just stayed still there. What's going on? They, do they like living in a jar? Look what, look what they look like when they're flying out in the, in the sky. See how free they are? Do they like living in a little tiny jar? No. The light in the room turned yellow, like a flashing left on too long. I tried to swallow, but something in my throat wouldn't go down. The light got dimmer and dimmer. Look at the fireflies. They're hardly lighting at all anymore. Fireflies light so that they can talk to their friends outside, and they didn't have anyone to talk to in their jar, so they're not lighting. Oh, look, he's covering his head with his pillow. He's feeling kind of bad. What do you think he's going to do? Open it up in the house. Oh, what would his mother say then? I don't know. I flung off the covers. I went to the window. I opened the jar. I aimed it at the stars, and I said, fly, fly away. 
How will the fireflies feel now? Happy. happy. Look at them. Oh, they're so happy. And maybe they did. Look at all those fireflies. And remember, they were just lying down almost dead in the jar. And now look how happy they are. Yay! They get to fly out with their friends and breathe fresh air again. And look at him. He had fun catching the fireflies, and he's more glad now that they're happy. He's glad he let them go. OK. Now I have a kind of a, a per, an artist who's kind of a funny artist. Do you have that book? It's called One Black Fly. And you can tell from the picture that the artist is a kind of a different artist. Oh, excuse me, Old Black Fly. Old Black Fly's been buzzing around, buzzing around, buzzing around. Old Black Fly's been buzzing around, and he's had a very busy day. Can you remember when flies buzz around your ears? Yeah. Ooh, I don't like that, do you? This book has the alphabet and it says A on this page. And this fly sat on a big old apple. And then this is B, B for, yeah. This is B for what? Who's here? Baby. Baby. And C for? And D for? And E for eggs. Can you tell those are eggs that got splashed? And this is F for frosting on the cake. I would not want to fly in my frosting, would you? Hey, F is flying. Frosting Yeah, that's right. He, this is G for garage and H for the honey jar. You're right. And this is I because what's this plant? Ivy. Ivy. And this is J because this little girl got, look at her, she got a big mess of jelly, didn't she? Yeah, all over her. Then came the K for the keys that, did, that go in the door, and L for the grocery list. And M for what? Milk, you're right. And Anne for a little girl who spilled her noodles. Oh, is that the mom? Sorry. And an O for olive oil. And a P for, what's that? Parrot. Parrot. And a Q for a quilt. And an R for, <laughs> an R for, what's in her hair? A ribbon. She's kind of a grouchy lady for having a pretty ribbon in her hair, isn't she? And, and, and it's a grandma. And it's a grandma, too. <laughs> There's a big S for salami. I bet flies like salami. And a T for a teacup. This poor person spilled the teacup. No. I don't think she spilled it. I think the fly went in. She wanted to smash the fly with, with a cooking thing. So she smashed it. She smashed it. Okay. And here's the flies flying through, and he sees a big pile of you for underwear. Yeah. And then he flies over here, and he sees a V for a vase. He spilled the vase. Oh, my goodness. And then the fly, oh, good. Look what the fly's going to fly out of, a W window. He flew out the window. Good. He made a little X with his front feet. See his X? I think he's on the windowsill. Is he on the windowsill? I think he's up. He buzzed around. His, the grandma's making a sweater out of yarn with a Y. And the last one, somebody's sleeping going, no, he's eating cake. He's eating cake? No. Oh, he is. Wow. <laughs> That's a funny noise for eating cake. Okay, so let's look at Beetle Bop. Okay, we have about 10 more minutes. Here's another funny artist in this book, and it's called Beetle Bop. So let's see what it says. Striped beetles. Spotted beetles, all over dotted beetles. Brown beetles, green beetles, not so often seen beetles. 
Buzzing beetles, humming beetles, steadily drumming beetles. Big beetles, small beetles, crawl up the wall beetles. Chew, chewing beetles, sawing beetles, noisily gnawing beetles. Round beetles, square beetles, fly in the air beetles. Bark beetles, sand beetles, fill up your hand beetles. Ooh, would you want to fill up your hand with that beetle? Diving beetles, whirling beetles, spiraling, swirling beetles. Blue beetles, black beetles, hide in the crack beetles. Glowing beetles, flashing beetles, constantly crashing beetles. Beetles flip, beetles flop, beetles fly, beetles bop. And that's the end of that book. That was a silly one, wasn't it? Okay, I have a, <clears throat> let's do a little beehive. Put your hands like this and make a beehive. And it says, here is a beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Here they come out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. And you don't want them to go sting anybody, do you? Hide them back in. <laughs> Let's do that again. Here is a beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Here they come out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Fly them around and put them back. <laughs> okay. Now I have a song that you have to help me sing. And you have to do the actions with it, okay? The bugs in the air fly up and down, up and down, up and down. The bugs in the air fly up and down all through the day. The spiders on the tree, they spin their web, spin their web, spin their web. The spiders on the tree, they spin their web all through the day. The crickets on the field hop up and down, up and down, up and down. The crickets on the field flop up and down all through the day. The bees in the hive go bzz, 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 bzz. Bzz, bzz, bzz. The bees in the hive go bzz, 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 all through the day. Okay, I have one more little song to sing. And you won't believe how many verses we have to the itsy bitsy spider. That's your. That's right, it was. Okay, do you remember that eensy weensy spider? Get your hands out, pull up this thumb and this finger and put them together. And you put your thumb with your finger and then switch. And they go back and forth like that. So we say, the eensy weensy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the eensy weensy spider went up the spout again. The eensy weensy spider climbed up the kitchen wall. Swoosh went the fan and made the spider fall. Off went the fan, no longer did it blow. So the eensy weensy spider back up the wall did go. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we have another one. The eensy weensy spider climbed up the yellow pail. In came a mouse and flicked her with her tail. Down fell the spider, the mouse ran out the door. So the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the pail once more. <laughs> then there's another one about a rocking chair. The itsy beansy spider climbed up the rocking chair. Up jumped the cat and knocked her in the air. Down plopped the cat, and when he was fast asleep, the itsy bitsy spider back up the chair did creep. <laughs> then there's another one about a maple tree. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the maple tree. She slipped on some dew and landed next to me. Out came the sun, and when the tree was dry, the itsy bitsy spider gave it one more try. <laughs> and one last one. 
The itsy bitsy spider climbed up without a stop. She spun a silky web right up the very top. She wove and she spun, and when her web was done, the itsy bitsy spider rested in the sun. Do you know all those? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I had never heard all those. Okay, I had never heard all those. Okay, do we have time for one more? It's called Bugs for Lunch. Would you like to eat bugs for lunch? Do you have that book? Oh, that's nice. Dr. Wendy gave you this? This looks like one Dr. Wendy might have given because it has um, Spanish and English. Okay. If your lunch was a bug, if your lunch was a bug, who would you be? Maybe a nuthatch at work in a tree. Or maybe a spider trapping a fly. Or maybe a bat catching bugs as it cruises in the sky. Did you know we like bats because they catch bugs and don't bother us? You might be a gecko. Would you like to be a gecko? <laughs> Or maybe a mouse eating some insects in somebody's house. <laughs> you might be a shrew, not just eating lunch, but snacking all day on bugs by the bunch. You could be a toad. Look at this toad with all those red spots. You could be a toad zapping a fly with a flip of the tongue in the blink of an eye. Did you know that tongues, oh, tongues, frogs have long, long tongues way back in there? And when they see a fly, they can go whoop and catch it really fast. And the end of their tongue has some sticky stuff on it. So if they touch the fly, they catch them easily. And that's what you see right here, that frog with his long, long tom po tongue poking out. Or maybe a mantis ready to prey on any size insect that happens his way. Or you might be a trout at home in a brook looking for insects that aren't on a hook. You could be a bear searching for honey, but finding that bees taste just as yummy. Ooh, do you think bees would taste as yummy as honey? No. Not their stingers. <laughs> oh goodness, someone tore the page out that has our words. But here we have an anteater. Would you want to eat ants for lunch? He does. Look, he has them crawling on his snout and everything. He likes those. Yeah. Oh, did you? Okay, if your lunch was a bug, you might just be you. Because some people eat bugs for lunch. Yep, if you cook them. Yeah, that's right. Okay, shall we? let's count how many of us are here before we line up to go for a walk. Would you help me count? Are you ready? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29. Did I get them all? Did I count Thatcher twice? No. I got him. 29 kids. Let's count how many grown ups we have, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Shall we line up and go for a walk? Okay. I'm going to give this back to 